right. So good, bad time to sell. The percentage of respondents who said it's a good time to sell a home remain unchanged at 59%, while the percentage that say it's a bad time to sell decreased from 35 to 33%. As a result, the net share of those who say it's a good time to sell increased two percentage points over last month. Home price expectations. Here we go. The percentage of respondents who said that home prices will go up in the next 12 months decreased from 33 to 32%, while the percentage who say the prices will go down increased from 33 to 35%. So the share who think uh, home prices will stay the same remained unchanged at 28%. As a result, the net share of Americans who say home prices will go up decrease three percentage points over month over month. So as you can see, guys, that's the big news right there. And that's what I wanted everyone to be aware of is that the it's amazing how much trending plays a big part in your business. So if the trends are up, then that plays a part. If the trends are down, then that plays a part. So what we're seeing now is that because of this trending, because of the media, because of statements like this, it causes people's minds to go, I need to go ahead and get out. I need to sell now. I don't need to carry this property any longer. And there's more and more evidence that can be added to that. So when you're talking to a seller, you can say, did you know that they've been uh, cutting prices and here's what's happening in the local MLS. They're cutting hundreds of properties every single day, cutting prices. And uh, so those kind of statistics set with uh, sellers and they definitely want to take advantage of it. All right. So that's the, that's the big thing that I wanted you to have a takeaway from uh, out of that report.